Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Han, and today I'm bringing you another countdown that likely resonates with the majority of the gaming community right now. My top 5 reasons why I'm excited to play Starfield. Let me be upfront. When I first heard about Starfield, I was admittedly intrigued by the prospect of what they were bringing, but it looked very bare bones at the time, and I pretty much hand waved it off. It wasn't until the Starfield Direct came about that I quickly realized, wow, these guys are really putting themselves into this project. I wasn't super hyped, and even now I'm not as hyped as I was with Baldur's Gate 3, but having pushed myself to revisit the Elder Scrolls games in recent years and rediscovering the fun they can bring, especially with mods, I decided I owe it myself to give this game a shot, especially with all the interesting content the game has, or at least has been talked about. With that said, it's time to go through the typical Starfield footage for the trillionth time and get this list started. Number 5. The Ship Customization I know, I know, why is this one the lowest? Well, in addition to the fact that it's essentially a late game feature, I'm also a little wary of how much effort I'll have to put into money making to even begin to afford all the customizing features. That all said, the fact that you can build up your ship in just about any way you please is pretty phenomenal. Imagine the fun sci-fi references people can make with their ships alone. The idea of my ship's shape, weight, and size potentially altering how it flies around in space can unlock potential for ship builds. Just imagine going on Star Citizen's website, finding an expensive ship that catches my eye, and jumping on Starfield and recreating it! Definitely a worthwhile investment. Number 4. The Base Building Again, I'm a little unnerved as to how much credit burning I'll have to do to get this going, but all the potential still sounds great. The first thing that really caught my eye in a good way was how bases are actually built. Taking prefabricated pieces and snapping them together like Legos? A quick and dirty idea for sure, and I love it. Then there's the potential of turning your bases into sources of income, where you can gather resources and sell them for profit. It's like having a miniature business simulator on the side. I'm definitely up for that idea, as long as it's as simple as they make it sound, at least. Number 3. Flying Around in Space Among all of the games I've played in my life, dogfighters, or aerial combat games if you will, are among my most infrequent. More so, there's only a small handful of them that I really have fond memories of, including Freelancer, the Rogue Squadron Trilogy, and my personal favorite, Star Trek Online. After watching what Starfield has to offer, I have a feeling it'll take that top spot when I finally try it. Between the measured pace of combat that doesn't appear to be too fast or slow, along with the fact that you can interact with ships in numerous ways, be you peaceful or warlike, I think activities in space will have just as much to offer, if not more, than activities on the ground. Speaking of which... Number 2. The Planets what is up with the internet anymore? Oh, we can't go around the entire planet in one sitting, so the game automatically sucks. Honestly, fuck off with that bullshit. As far as I can tell, the planets look as beautiful as they do varied. They'll likely have plenty of resources to harvest, and I'm really amped to see just how much extraterrestrial wildlife there really is out there. The procedural generation elements are something I'm still up in the air about, but I'd be lying if I said I wasn't at least looking forward to each planet's potential unpredictability. And number one, the factions. As much as I love factions in previous Bethesda games, I admit it can be a bit tiresome to have to play each game multiple times just to see a potential side faction's outcome, whether it's Morrowind outright blocking out two houses when you choose one, or the later Fallout games connecting each faction to the game's ending. I was rather pleased to hear that Starfield will feel more like Oblivion in terms of factions, as Oblivion is the only Elder Scrolls game, at least among the big three, that lets you explore every faction without conflict. Of course, you can have different outcomes with each faction depending on your choices, but I feel that form of replayability is easier to work with. What I like the most about the factions, though, are how easy it is to see what they stand for before you even jump in. No need for super ambiguous, overly deep motives here. You can be a space marine, a cowboy, a corpo, a criminal, and even a good old-fashioned explorer. The sheer variety of roles you can play, and the fact that you can partake in all of them, is the number one reason I'm excited for Starfield. So what do you think? What are you excited for in Starfield? And which side faction will you join first? Leave your thoughts down in the comments below. 
Unless, of course, you're a Sonic pony, in which case you can take your needless bitch fest out the door with you. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Until then, take care of yourselves, and farewell.